Have you ever found yourself wondering how it is that hackers get into company networks? Well, I'm going to show you one of the simple but very common techniques. You're probably familiar with Microsoft Word, but did you know a Microsoft Word document can run code? For example, I wrote one here that will just open a message box saying you've been hacked. Now you might notice I had to click enable content to run the code, so how would we get a user to do this? Set a nice Microsoft blue background, I'm going to add the Windows security logo, and then I'm going to make a convincing message telling the user they need to click the button. Uh, I'll add a screenshot as well, just for example. Final product looks fairly convincing, so now it's time for some real malicious code. For my example, I'm using a PowerShell script that'll download and run some malware that'll give me full access to the computer. In the real world, we probably disguise this as an email containing a financial invoice so that they would download and open the document. For demonstration purposes, the system on the left is the company computer, and the system on the right is the hacker. I'm not sure about a fake company computer having a light up keyboard, but whatever. I'm using reverse VNC software so that the company computer will connect to mine, that way we don't have to worry about the firewall. Moment of truth, let's click enable content. As you can see from the window flash that our malware has ran and it's now connected to the hacker system. We basically have full control over the company computer, we can see whatever is on the screen and even move windows around like so. This is actually one of the most common ways hackers get into company systems, so if you see that enable content warning, don't click it.